Okay, guys, so... I just now recorded that other video I stepped outside to, um... To take care of the animals, I already fed them, but I just want to come and check on everybody since the kids are home and I have more time just to come out here without the baby. Um, without worrying about the baby. Um, coming out here because it's wet outside and it's a bit cold. Um, so, it was time for me to check on Lovely. Lovely is a lion head. She has been in with a buck because she missed a few times when breeding. Um, and so I pick her up and I feel that she's a little bit thin. Um, so this is what I found. Hopefully y'all can see this. Um, so you can see that tooth is going out all the way into her nostril. It hasn't broke the skin yet. Um, but if I open her mouth... I'm going to try to do this um, without causing her too much distress. She is pregnant, um, but I've never looked at her teeth. So the way that I got Lovely is um, a breeder. Um, a breeder gave her to a friend of mine, and he told they told him that every time she has a litter of babies, she has babies, and they are always dead as soon as they find them. Um... Y'all probably know Lovely has had many babies for me, and I have really only had an issue, like, the time before last. Um, sometimes she has three babies, sometimes she has um, more than that, sometimes she's only had one. Um, the last two litters have been kind of hard on her, um, but I wanted to breed her again, which I did. Um, and now I'm finding out that um, she's got some issues with her teeth. Um... Come here, Sophia. I'm going to try to show y'all the inside of her mouth um, the best that I can with this shadow that is right here. Um, but you can see that second tooth um, is kind of curled around the other one. Yeah, you can see that right there. Um... She is missing one of her top teeth. She actually has hair stuck on this tooth right here, which is common because the tooth is so long and it's separated from the next one um, that hair gets stuck there when they are cleaning themselves. She is kind of thin, um, which is what led me to like look at her mouth. Um, and that's when I discovered that um i saw the tooth coming straight out of her mouth into like by her nose so sophia's gonna hold her right here here sophia hold her come closer to the camera um i'm going to i'm gonna cut her teeth i'm gonna use some toenail clippers um this is just like um clipping your fingernails it does not hurt rabbits to clip their teeth um I'm gonna, there, I got that, uh, hair off of it, um, her other tooth on the side, her top tooth that is still there, um, is actually, she actually has both, let me see, it's like her, one side of her teeth is growing into the other side, but I'm going to go ahead and clip these, like I said, it's not gonna hurt her, um, Honestly, I sh I would a lot of breeders would cull her after finding this with her teeth. Um, all her babies go to a pet home, not a breeding home, anyways. Um, so that isn't an issue. But I'm going to trim her teeth as short as possible, and she doesn't want to be restrained, so that's why she's fighting me. I'm not hurting her. Um, she's not used to being held a whole lot. She's not a pet. She's a breeder. Um, but in saying that, all my animals are treated very well. Um, as if they were pets and not just breeders. I know. Yeah. So, it cut straight through it just fine. My goal right now is for her to get through a healthy pregnancy. Put a little bit of weight on. And then after that, I'm not sure what's going to happen to her. 
I don't want to cause her any distress. Her teeth are very thin, which causes me to believe that she's kind of old. Now, bad teeth can either be... Don't, don't face your... Yeah, keep your eyes away just in case. Cause I, you don't want to get poked in the eye by a flying tooth. Um, bad teeth can be genetic, or it can be sometimes rabbits like to grab the side of their cage and kind of pull on it, which can cause the teeth to um, become misaligned. Um, and so that may be what happened. It may be genetics. I don't know where she came from. I just know that she w was being bred and she never had a live litter of babies, which is not, ha has not been the case for me. So I have cut them. Uh, they're not short enough, so I'm going to continue to cut them, um, so that they are closer to like a normal length. Let me get this done and I'll show you what they look like whenever we're finished. Okay, everyone. So, her upper teeth, when I went to clip it, it actually removed the whole tooth. Um, her bottom teeth are close to the way that it should be. Rabbit's teeth never stop growing, so even though that tooth is broke off at the top, well, one of them was already broke off when I found her like this, the other one... Um, broke off. It completely pulled out of the gums whenever I went to clip it, um, which tells me that that tooth was probably damaged within the gums. Um, Ryan's teeth never stop growing. That's why they get so, so long. Um, usually they don't get that long or a rabbit will actually, um, wear it down. Um, and I do provide pine cones. I do provide oak um, branches. I have a maple tree. I provide maple branches um, at times as well. Um, so she's had an opportunity to work, work those teeth down. So like I said, whether it's genetic or if it is um, an injury, I have no idea. Um, most likely this happened um, either genetically or before I got her. Um, but I'm going to put her in a cage by herself um, with an unlimited supply of feed um, and let her um, continue this pregnancy, and once the babies are weaned, um, if this litter survives, I will have to make a decision of what I'm going to do with her. Sometimes people do like to take very old rabbits and um, keep them for the rest of their lives, um, but we'll have to see what happens when that time comes. Um, it's possible for her... Um, to grow these teeth out and they do exactly what they just did like i said most breeders will um cull which means um kill um just so that they don't suffer or pass this gene along she's already pregnant um so i can't go back and make her not pregnant um and i do not want to kill her while she is pregnant because that is just not something that I will do um so I'm glad I caught it before any more damage was done to her mouth um but she's just the sweetest prettiest girl and I'm so sad that she has this problem with her teeth so if you ever go to buy a rabbit always look at their teeth you want to make sure that they are straight I will add some pictures here of um teeth that are normal and not normal um, so please look at the pictures and um, when if you ever purchase a rabbit, make sure that their teeth are in perfect condition um, because a rabbit really does suffer in the long run if they do have this problem. Thanks for watching. Bye.